42 right here. Okay, so kind of a newbie mistake, although it doesn't happen to us a lot. Um, it took us forever, as you can see, it took us forever to level. <laughs> the side is really unlevel, it's like, it's a ramp, <laughs> way down. It's like at least six inches, if not more. So when we went to plug in, guess what? <laughs> First of all, it's only 30 amp and we need 50 amp in order to run two ACs and it is hot. But at any rate, when we went to plug in, the electric doesn't work. I was able to push it in. Uh, sometimes when you wiggle the breakers and push in the breakers, they start working. So I was able to uh, gently <laughs> coax it in and it started working. So we were like, okay, good. At least we don't have to move. But uh, as soon as I plugged it into the RV, the, our meter start, it started reading zero again. So I went over there and I'm like, we're gonna be here for a couple of days and I really don't wanna deal with that for a couple of days. So I drove all the way back to where we checked in and they were really, really nice. They offered to come and fix it and we said, and we said, no, <laughs> do you have anything that's 50 amp? <laughs> so they, they were really, really nice. I mean, it took them five seconds and they gave, they gave us another site. So we're fixing to move over there. Stay tuned. We'll see how that turns out. We're about to disassemble all this, all that work for nothing. And we're gonna move to another spot and uh, we'll see how that spot turns out. <laughs> Well, I tell you what, if this one works for us, <laughs> this is a, quite an upgrade. Just be careful coming in. I think you're going to be able to level out. Well, sometimes when things go bad, things turn up. <laughs> Take your time, babe. Okay, it's looking good. Well, as you can see here, we are on our new, on our new campsite. <laughs> it's quite an improvement, you know, it's right by the water. So we're gonna plug in now, level, and uh, see how this one all works out. It's 50 amps, so we can use both ACs, so it's already looking up. So here we are trying again. <laughs> I had to ramp up this side. Uh, and there's a storm a coming, so we're trying to rush before the storm, the storm gets here. I think we got it. <laughs> it's usually not this hard. This has been drama day. <laughs> it's kind of funny, uh, but yeah, we had to raise it quite a bit for for the tires to be on the ground. We don't like the tires to be off the ground because it puts too much stress on the jacks. And we like the RV to be level so that we can take the big full wall slide out. It's kind of like tribal knowledge. Everybody kind of tells you that if it's not level, don't put your, your especially the big full wall slides, they're, they're sort of sensitive to the level. <laughs> the thunder is warning me, I'm coming for you. But uh, looks great. We got 50 amp. We're gonna put all the slides out. Hooray! Hey man. My dog doesn't like getting wet. The, your dog doesn't like getting wet? He's real, I'm trying to be Was it an exciting landing? Yeah. yeah. Oh wow, big lightning. <laughs> this is gonna be a hard rain. I think we're gonna hunker down and uh, not get struck. Well, you guys might, might be figuring out by now that I gotta come out and check out the sunrise. <laughs> They're addictive, so I don't recommend getting started. <laughs> You'll lose a lot of sleep. But this one over here is turning out to be really pretty. So every once in a while you get treated with an absolutely majestic sunrise. That was, that was pretty wild. It only lasted for a few minutes, but it, 
It certainly looked like the sky was on fire. What did you guys think? <laughs> Is it worth it? <laughs> well, you know, you only have so many. So it's the Gopher Tortoise Trail. It's the nature trail that we're fixing to go to now. <laughs> Those are the whistles. <laughs> it means come hither. How do you whistle? I do like it. Oh. Uh -huh. Well, that whistle ain't gonna last you very long. As, you, as soon as you hit 12, it's a goner. So this is the Gopher Tortoise Nature Trail. Oh, the dog wants up, up, up. Yeah, he said my doggy wanted up, up, up. <laughs> Papa, are those snapping turtles just snap? No, the snapping turtles, but this is a gopher tortoise. So oh. tortoise probably means it's really slow. Uh-huh. And gopher probably means it likes holes of some kind. Yeah. Why do they have feet? Why do they have feet? Uh-huh. They come out of the shell and they crawl. But some don't have feet. Some turtles don't have feet. Which no. ones don't have feet, huh? All, all turtles have feet. Um, are you talking about sea turtles? Yeah, I'm talking about sea turtles. Papa, there's a bridge. Kind of looks like a swamp. <laughs> but doesn't have enough trees. Wow, these leaves are, they're like 16 inches wide, you know? Yeah. Ooh, look at that stump. This is so pretty. <laughs> they look like the tapples we rescued mm -hmm. last year or six weeks ago. <laughs> so we're in the middle of some confusion about our trails. It well, it happens. Tra what trail we took is that way and we uh that's, that's the way home. <laughs> that's the way we came in and that is the way home, yes. But we want to take the roundabout trail. There's trail A. I think that one goes to the boundary. There's trail B. I think that one goes around where we want to go. So we'll probably be taking that one. There's trail unidentified. <laughs> it's not even on the map. And that's where we came from over here, this boardwalk. This is one of those big fork forks that don't fit in your mouth. You know, laying fork in the road. Yeah. We're checking the map. <laughs> Took a picture of the map, brought it with us. We usually do Google Maps, but in, in these forests where there's a lot of pine trees or trees that are covering the trails, you can't really see the trails, so we have to rely on old, good old-fashioned mapping. Mm -hmm. Take a picture of the, of the camp map and there you go. <laughs> yes. And then when you're on the trail, you can check it out yeah. without a piece of paper. Yeah, it's been kind of weird. We're finding a lot of really beautiful flowers, but they're like one. One flower here, one flower there. And the kids are kind of suffering because we have a rule that says if there's only one flower, we don't pick it because that's how plants reproduce. If you pick the only flower, then they might not be any more flowers. So we try to teach the kids that. And uh, yeah, this has been one of those days where no flower picking because every time we come across uh, a flower, there's only one flower. Kind of bizarre. Hey, they're beautiful. See, she can, she can go completely inside of her shell. Wow. Her feet, her head, her tail, everything tucks inside that hard shell. That's her protection. This shell shaped like a clam. You see the little tail now? Look at the tail. Mm -hmm. I won, I won. Man, you wanted to take me out? Yeah, this is what a day at the beach is supposed to look like. Don't you think? Yes, I do. It's like right there. Well, the rain is here. <laughs> the kids got out just in time. They got all their playing. You can't even see those umbrellas. Oh my. That's funny. <laughs> oh, not too much. He just disappeared. Started walking. Oh, you went all the way over there? <laughs> That's some nice warm rain. That's cool. It's like taking a shower. Yeah. There's some beautiful cypress trees over there.
I love the smell after a rain, especially when it's that hard. I couldn't help it but go play. Since the kids were on the on the beach all day, they kind of hunkered down inside and they were cozy as a bug in there. <laughs> they didn't want to step out, which is kind of not the norm. They're always the one wanting to come out and stomp on the puddles. This time, I guess it was my turn. So we made chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> And they were knocking at the at the window over here, <laughs> like little monkeys trying to get out. <laughs> I can eat it hot. I can eat it hot. <laughs> Everything else he has to cool off, but the cookie that can he can eat hot. <laughs> After this morning's amazing sunrise, it looked like the sky was on fire. Now the sunset's kind of a treat as well. Weird. So here we are about to leave Seminole Park, Georgia. It was a rough start, let me tell you. <laughs> but look what happens if you hang in there. You end up with a spot right by the lake. The kids <laughs> were able to get in the water pretty much every day. <laughs> so, you know, uh, all good things. We love waterfront, being, being real close to the waterfront. We weren't able to enjoy the picnic table as much as we'd like to, but because um, the heat. <laughs> We're right where Alabama, Georgia, and Florida meet, you know, and uh, <laughs> it's like the, the junction. But uh, wonderful, wonderful space by the, by the water. We, we really enjoy being by the water. Mm -hmm. 